Welcome to October 2020, the year of crazy. I'm adding to the crazy by doing two prompt lists this year. One will be in a traveler's notebook of my own design using Mab's Drawloween Club prompts. And then I will be playing in an already started altered book using prompts from Inktober. In real life, I'm currently recovering from a broken ankle that required screws and plates inserted. So my Halloween challenges will also take on an abandoned haunted hospital theme also. This is as much planning as I will do ahead of time as I like the paper to di- to dictate any of my projects. So sit back, enjoy the goofiness that will most likely happen, and as always, thanks for watching. I don't know if you could have seen yesterday's because it was a little too far away. But these two are the physical therapy team, the Goblin Sisters. And today... I'm going to put three prompts together on each page and then I'll be caught up. <laughs> and again, I'm publishing this the same time as I make it. So this is, what is this? This is the Inktober ones. <clears throat> I think I've lost my words. Somehow I skipped a page. So I'm going backwards. I'm filling in these two pages, so they'll be out of order, but they're still filmed in order. Storm, Trap, and Dizzy. I found some more tape. Not very much, though, but I'm thinking I brought some. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, if I don't fall off my chair. This is going to be Storm, Trap, and Dizzy. Big scissors here, didn't I? I haven't unpacked very well yet. Okay, can't find my big scissors, but we are going to talk about, and I still have a shadow here, so excuse the shadow. It's dark out, but it's seven, almost seven o'clock. So what I decided to do, and I thought there was regular paper in the printer here, but it's photo paper. So we're gonna go with that. I think I can write on this. Okay, that's the storm part. Here is the trap part, which is a mouse trap. In a perfect world, I would have printed this on paper, but or sticker paper would have been the best. I know I have it down here. I just haven't uncovered it all. Because I can't, I packed it super heavy and I can't move the stuff I packed in the winter. <laughs> For obvious reasons. And I had my husband get out exactly what I needed, bare minimum. Number one, he doesn't need to know all the stuff I have. Right, right. Number two, he was he wasn't complaining. He doesn't complain. I was like, geez. I'm like, look at that thing. He said, No, it's full of books. Books, books, and more books. But I think that's where the paper is too. My big trash can. Okay. And I forgot to put the Halloween decorations on the end of the video. So I'm putting Halloween decorations and the yard. 
decorations from yesterday, uh, Saturday. Okay, as soon as I finish cutting here, I'll explain how I did all this. Okay, and procreate. I made a background of stormy blues. Okay, storm, check, check. Now let's tape it down. My 49ers won last night. So today is going to be catching up on this, getting some more set stuff situated. some stitching which is all by hand because there's no machines down here okay this is storm and it's also dizzy because this is the menu for the dinner that our uh, patient number six six seven six six seven is having and she's in room four seven seven and today is the 19th i think she's having cauldron carrots here i'll show you her main her food oh lordy oh cauldron carrots rubber chicken dizzy fruit spider soup larvae rice and cucumber chips. So there's the dizzy. Chick. And we're going to put this down here. <clears throat> so, yeah, I did all this in Procreate last night. <laughs> well, all I did in Procreate really was make this background. And it should have been on a regular piece of paper, but alas. I haven't come across the paper, read my paper yet. And I hope that I didn't leave it up in the drawer from the stand last year. I don't think I would have done that. Oh, the neighbors are up. Hope they don't see me. Okay. quiet so they don't know we're here okay <clears throat> now the trap <clears throat> there's the mouse trap but the trap is a watermelon the dizzy fruit is poisoned to brainwash just enough to they bring they poison all the patients with their dinner with sleeping pills so they sleep at night which, by the way, I slept so much better last night. <laughs> Didn't sleep good the night before. Okay. Let's put this here. I'm using this tape because this is photo paper and it's thick. The basketball coach is back next door, too. He's very quiet. So they put the watermelon in the trap. Now, I need something to write on here. Oh, wait. Maybe. 
that's red ink. We don't want red ink. And there's trap. So chick. Covered the lowest three. We're caught up on Inktober. All patients are uh what do you call it? Lured. To dizzy fruit and then trapped by the poison sleeping pills. in there. Oh, probably can't see any of that, could you? Shoot. Oh, well, hopefully. It wasn't a complete kerfluffle. Coral is the next one. Okay. We'll put that guy away for right now. Coming together. Now this is a little bit, oh, do I have, oh, I do have coral on this, these stamps. Oh yeah. Do I have the right color? Hmm, not so sure. That might get creative, okay. Undead Apothecary Frankenstein. Now, I know how I'm going to do it, but I don't know how I'm going to do it. A pile of stuff. already but I'm gonna do this as the apothecary lab for the pharmacy <gasps> stomach scrawling see this is pretty Ooh, I like that I brought all my Nick Bantock sheets just in case. <gasps> oh, here's a microscope for our lab. Oh, I did bring those words. That's a lot of paper that I made. And these are printables from Patreon. Okay. All right. 
Let's get this down. So there's a microscope, there's a lab, possibly a background sheet. All right, I want to do this. <clears throat> okay, I need a Frankenstein. Here's a Frankenstein right here. These are some stamps that I stamped ahead of time. On sticker paper. I think I did these last year. Cutting him out. Dr. Frankenstein is going to be the head of the pharmacy department. <clears throat> Maybe we can make his body out of this. This was a piece of uh, dictionary page, encyclopedia page. Then I painted over it and then photocopied it. I think I may have jelly plated over it. Okay, I'm winging this. I'm freaking steining his body. Very generic. He needs to be green. seven things to get to one thing. Wouldn't be mine if it wasn't like that. I forgot I had water up here. Oh, it dried up. Hmm. All right, we're going to go with Frankenstein green. These are my Neo Color Trues. I love these things. Color in his head just enough to be green. little neck. You don't want his makeup to not match his neck. His face makeup to not match his neck makeup. Then let's take Frankenstein dark green. Just kind of darken up the edges. Put on, um, what do they call this stuff? Make contour. We contoured him. Okay, so we have Frankenstein, the apothecary, and undead. Now, undead, <clears throat> we need some apothecary jars. I'm winging these too. Hopefully.
two. And then one of the ingredients is going to be like undead frog bits or something. <laughs> And then tomorrow morning, I should be back at my regular time and caught up. Now we need to color those too, but we got to leave space for the labels. They're not perfectly straight, but that's okay. The chemicals melt the bottles a little, right? What I say? Undead. Oopsie. Spelled frog wrong. Frog bits. Okay, this is bat teeth. Oh, that would have been a good one for the tooth teeth label post prompt, whatever they're called, and spider, um, spider guts. I don't have any water and I'm not going to get up and go get it. So we're just going to have to go with the color of the, I must choose purple. There's still a shadow here. I think it's because my camera is so close. And I have two lights on, but I don't have a lot of professional lighting situations up here, out here, over here at the beach. So forgive the shadows. Who needs shadows when you have me? <clears throat> All right, let's take darker purple, add some shadows on our bottles. Oh, the it, the big oak tree outside our bedroom, this bedroom window, I'm downstairs. It's not the big bedroom upstairs, but I can't get up the stairs. But I might crawl up there today to get, to see if that paper's there. Um. But there's acorns dropping on the porch, and I left a window open last night. Kaboom, kaboom. Acorns are tiny until they fall on your ceiling. Or on the porch. And dead frog bits. All right, we're gonna go with, so these are my apothecary jars in my lab with Dr. Frankenstein and Undead. I know Undead is not meant to be that, but in my world, that's what it is. I think it's another kind of creature. I'm pretty sure I looked it up before we left, but that was several days ago. Oh, I need a little bit. Now in the perfect world, I would have water and color this all in prettier, blend it in. But alas, I forgot to go get water and I'm not gonna go get it now. I watched, um, Southern Gal Designs on YouTube. She did a Q&A at some point over the weekend and I watched it last night. She's very cute. <laughs> but 
but she said one of her favorite supplies is Neo Color Twos. I do like these a lot. All right, let's do a gray and red. Oh, here's where we like gray. With a broken top. That's really light. So you just got to use your imagination. But she was talking about... Comparing herself to other people. And I do that a lot because I'm not good at filming. I'm not good at my art. But I like what I do. She said that's the most important part. You do you. And I so agree with that. I like the stories that I'm <laughs> silly as they are. Make up along the way. Sometimes, sometimes I don't have stories. <clears throat> sometimes. Okay. Now I got to glue all these elements in. She said that's when her creativity took off. When, and I mean, she's, a lot of people say this. Her creativity took off her everything. It was fun again the whole shebang and that's why I don't change technically you probably shouldn't make a video every day but I like doing it it's part of my creative process so I do it all right I need to have a little pocket on his lab coat And it's Dr. F, Dr. Frankenstein. Oh, shoot. I should have put this down first. I got to put his neck inside his coat. Luckily, it hadn't dried yet. And we're going to glue these apothecary tools in. So I managed to get all of these in here too. I'll put one across here. Spider guts. Am I in? I think this camera is so close. I'm going to, at home, I have to bring it forward. Up here, I think I'm going to have to back it up a smidgen. Undead frog bits and bat teeth. Oh, that's fun. So, undead, undead frog bits, apothecary, the apothecary jars in the apothecary pharmacy, and Dr. Frankenstein is our pharmacist. Check, check, check. Okay. I'm going to edit this and publish it right now, and we'll be caught up. That was a little bit of a cheat, but it's going to work. So, what is tomorrow's? Oh, I need a fur. Fur. Can somebody have a furry lab coat? <laughs> of course they can. Okay, thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Bye.